I'm gonna share my must have beginner brushes based on budget, how good they perform for their price. And if you're a beginner, are these worth it? And why are they worth it? So I don't know about you guys, but I still love an amazing deal when it comes to makeup brushes. Uh, so no matter what, even if I'm a beginner or not, I want a good deal. Another amazing brush that I definitely would say is my Morphe M535. I was definitely a Morphe skeptic because people would rave about their brushes and still do, but really because of the price and how good they are, I will say they are as good and up to par to their standard. They don't shed, they're durable, and they're really good. Just like all the brushes I name here in this video today, um, they're really inexpensive or old brands I should say listed in this video have very good brushes. Not only the ones I show are the ones that I love, I'm just showing you my main ones that I use. Now this one is good for also blending. It To me it has more than one purpose. You can pack on shadows for your base and if you want to add uh, more dimension, more uh, colors, more pigments. I use this brush it's great to pack it on now the small stiff brush rounded in the tip allows for application of product basically allowing you to contour your eye as you're adding the shadows you can add different shadows or you can just contour around the crease of your eyes as you see me doing the good thing is you can use this for creams liquids and pressed powders and it's really good if you want to create more of a smoky eye as well. Pro Techniques is great for beginners, not only because of the, the bristles themselves are really doable, they don't fall apart when you wash them, and they don't shed. It's just this oversized design that it has, helps with that effortlessly application of shadows. As you can see, I go back after I use my precision brush and softly bend in the shadows. It's all blended nicely. I get that desired outcome. No streaks. Instead, a really pretty, soft eye look. Smudge brush with this shape on the top, more smooth and rounded. Gives you that intensity and in colors when you apply it, whether it's under your lash line or on top of your lash line. It is the best brush to use for that perfect contouring and enhancing your eye area with a pop of cup. Just, it's about the blending. Blend the shadows in. The more you blend it, you can literally do a whole makeup look just with one brush. If you're able to blend it well, use the right brush for that one look, it's definitely accomplishable. The biggest thing with brushes, you just have variety. It's easier to switch from one brush to another when you have more than one that I use that are super, super, super good brushes for pigment picking up pigments uh, and, and for the looks that I want to create. This is a really easy look just so you can see as I demonstrated for the brushes how they work. If this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and make sure to hit that notification uh, bell like that you know when I post the videos. I look forward to chatting with you guys next time. Have an awesome, awesome week. Peace. Till next time.